Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. And it's high time I have another pet tame video. So in this video, I have another 10 pets for you to tame on any spec here in World of Warcraft. So whether your hunter is a marksman, beast mastery, or survival hunter, I've got you covered. There's some amazing brand new pets as of the War Within pre-patch, including this beautiful, or maybe not so beautiful, guy here, assuming of course that you do play Alliance. The Horde will just unfortunately have to deal with the meteor version of this guy for now. This one and so much more are going to be found in this video and there will be timestamps for every single pet down in the description of the video as well as a link to their Wowhead uh, article if you guys would like to check those out. And oh by the way, we made some friends along the way so I cannot wait to share their experience as well. So thank you you guys for checking out this video and let's get started. Mr. Eggplant presents So for this first pet on my list, I had to have some help. So first off, shout out to Gyarados, the Storm Eater from the Guild Snacks over on Malganus. Uh, because he was actually already down here getting Ray Lun the first time just before I showed up, and I had to, to see it through uh, to get both uh, of these Cloud Serpents for him. Because of course, uh, with a name like Gyarados, you have to have two Ray Luns. So uh, Ray Lun is one of the um, August Celestial looking um, cloud serpents that were added in Mist of Pandaria. But this exact version was actually added in 8.3 for the uh, Nazoth invasions. Uh, so as you can see there, it's an absolutely beautiful azure blue. It's got that that extra celestial vibe to it. Honestly, one of the most beautiful pets I've ever seen in this game. Uh, and this is actually pretty difficult to get. Uh, not necessarily because it it's hard to find, but it does spawn every 45 minutes to an hour, and it is found in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, which is in Pandaria. The problem is, though, you have to unlock the uh, 8.3 uh, Nazoth zones to do that, so there is a little bit of a quest line. And then you go into the uh, Gule Halls, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, you're going to go straight forward to go through all the traps, and then you're gonna pop out down around here, and then you're gonna come down the stairs and then come up to this little um, dais, if you will, over here, this balcony. And then uh, Ray Lun will be sitting right here. Uh, but I actually do not have this pet. I made sure that Gyarados got it before me, uh, and this is up only three days out of every 14 days, because the Mogu invasion has to be going on. So if the, the uh, Black empire is here or the mantid are here this pet will not be but again congratulations to gyarados uh, malganus from the guild snacks be sure and uh, check out their guild they are constantly doing some um, uh, cutting edge content uh, definitely doing some really amazing things over there on Malganus. But we're going to go check out what this thing looks like uh, with his mount. But let's go ahead and go check that out and then we'll check out the next pet on my list. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at this combination before we go here. So it does look like the heavenly uh, azure cloud serpent. And again, absolutely beautiful. And shout out once again to Gyarados for getting this amazing collection. Uh, best of luck to both he and his guild in the war within. And now let's go ahead and check out the next pet on my list. So coming in at number two on my list is technically speaking two different pets, but one's Horde only and one's Alliance only, and it's going to be Grong. So Grong is the second boss in Battle for Dazarlor, uh, which the entrance to this raid is in Dazarlor in uh, Zoldazar, and it's just north of there. And you have to kill the first boss, uh, the the Champions of the Light, and then Grong, the Jungle Lord, is number two. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and tame him for our very own ginormous that's slightly scary uh, but you should have no problem taming him the funny thing is though dude makes like you can't hear it dude makes all sorts of noise because he's still a, a raid boss <laughs> so he does keep his name and i'm sorry uklok i may have just found a new 
best friend. So uh, this is the Horde version. It is basically has all the perks of being a gorilla. That's one of the main reasons I have Ucklock, a little bit more defensive, and then also has that bloodlust when we need it. Uh, definitely a beautiful... Uh, well, maybe not beautiful. It's a face only a mother could love, but he's going to get uglier here in a second. So I'm actually going to go uh, and jump on my Alliance character because you can also tame uh, Grong the Revenant, the dead version, which is the third boss in this raid for the Alliance. So let's go ahead and go check it out. And like I said, pet 2B is also Grong, but it is Grong the Revenant after uh, Rastakhan uh, has got his hands on Grong. Uh, so for the Alliance, uh, you actually go back to Boralus in Kul Tiras, uh, and then you will, I'll go ahead and click that real quick, you'll enter the battle for Dazarlor right here on the map, and then you're going to take out the Champions of the Light, then Jade Fire Masters, and then Grong the Revenant. So Grong and Jade Fires are just switched for Alliance, uh, if you're used to being Horde like me. But this is a undead uh, pet, so you do have to have the Tome of Bone Binding learned on your account. Uh, you just have to have one of your hunters have learned that, and then all the others will be able to tame undead. Uh, so let's go ahead and tame it for our very own and add it to the collection. And just like with normal Grong, this dude has sound effects like he is a raid boss. Uh, so I'm sure they'll get that patched at some point, but absolutely cool. I, I love the different, um, the, first off, the eyes. I love that. Look at that. That is so cool. You can see the skull coming through the, the flesh there. And then one um, one arm is definitely meatier than the other. And like, look at that. That is just, that's some really cool attention to detail there. You can see the spine sticking out the side as well as the, uh, the hip bones and that sort of thing. But I hope you guys will add one of these to your collection. Hopefully it'll be the one that you really want. I know there's a bunch of horde hunters that really want this one, particularly if they're an undead hunter. But let's go ahead and check out out the next pet on my list and head over to Tanan Jungle. All right, here we go. It is showtime. So coming in at number three on my list is the Iron Warwolf, as you can see here, uh, which is found in the Iron Front in Tanan Jungle, all the way to the uh, west side of the zone. And this is in Draenor. Uh, so there is ways where you can click on those uh, strong point banners and have a chance to spawn a Hound Master that will spawn two of these. But I found that over here on the west side of the zone, there will be like one or two spots where these wolves will just spawn and then they come and then they eventually die to these uh, frost wolf warriors. Uh, but there should be another one that will spawn here momentarily. Uh, the most I've had to wait was five minutes. So these do spawn uh, fairly quickly. It's an absolutely beautiful pet and it honestly it looks really amazing even though this was added way back in Warlords of Draenor. Uh, it does help that it shares the model of one of the mounts which I do believe got touched up. This is the mount that you get from the Warlords uh, time walking events that you can buy with badges but again absolutely beautiful it's got the cool bomb features on the side there got that flame uh topper and of course the the blade jowls if you will i hope you guys will add this one to your collection and please leave me a comment down below if you're going to pick one of these up uh, it's perfect for Beast Mastery Hunters as well because they usually spawn like one or two uh, fairly easily let me know what you're going to name yours and let's go ahead and check out the next pet on my list and coming in at number four on my list is going to be Tazala. And I had to jump on my other hunter, one of many, uh, Buon, to do this tame. Because, of course, I wanted the raptor on my troll. Uh, so, to do this, you have to be in the King's Rest instance. If you guys are unfamiliar, that's one of the dungeons that was added back in BFA. And it's found in Zuldazar uh, on Zandalar. And then it's going to be over on the... Uh, the west side of the zone, there's going to be a tall Dazar, and then if you fly over that instance and into the uh, the complex, if you will, there will be uh, King's Rest. And you want to go ahead and clear all three of the first bosses. So you'll start here, you'll go all the way through to the Golden Serpent, Machimba, and then the Council of Tribes, and then you'll finally end here at Dazar. And our goal is to get Dazar to 60% health, and then he's going to spawn his mount, Tazala, and it does look like the the mount that he actually drops uh, on Mythic as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get his health lowered uh, without a pet. It's going to be real weird, but luckily he's level 52, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. 
So here comes Raban. That is one of the pets that have been on a list previously. I hope you guys will check that one out. Uh, Raban is one of my favorites. I use it for uh, Arena. Uh, so King Dazar is now down here. So he's at the, the low enough item level. So let's go ahead and try to tame Tazala. And so it's super easy, even though he's riding Tazala. There we go. We add it to our... Um, our collection and let's go ahead and finish off to Zar here really fast so that way we can check out uh, this beautiful beautiful pet perfect so there we go Tazala added to our collection it looks exactly like the the tomb stalker mount that he uh, drops here on mythic again absolutely beautiful and it, it since it shares a model with a mount you know it's going to have that extra touch and this is just going to be so perfect on your troll particularly like a, a zandalari troll this would look so so nice but i hope you guys will add this one to your collection and let's go ahead and check out the next pet on my list and the next pet on my list is going to be the Orange Fay Darter, which is actually behind me. It's officially called the Cave Fairy. Uh, so it is found, the easiest way is it's found in Thaldrassus, which is right outside of Valdraken. And then you're going to come uh, just to, I guess it's like the, the south uh, west, so to speak here. Uh, currently, my coordinates are uh, 33, 22, 74, 31. Uh, but here in the cave, we will have this orange um, fey darter. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tame for my very own. And this is actually on my brand new, uh, no longer time running uh, hunter. Uh, so this is going to be his first tame. Pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my very own. And this is a lesser dragon can. And we can tame these as of dragonflight. You just have to get the... Uh, the tome purchasable on just one hunter, uh, and then uh, your whole all of the hunters on your um, your account will uh, know how to do this. And you have to get I think it's uh, rank 23 uh, with the Valdraken uh, Accord. Uh, so there we go, absolutely beautiful. And this one has the distinction of sharing the same model as the rare Fey Dragon from Wailing Caverns. So if you don't want to try to have the quote prestige pet, you can easily come and pick one of these up. The one in Wailing Caverns, even though that was added way back in the day, does have the new updated model. So let's go ahead and check out the next pet on my list. And oh, by the way, uh, what should I name this one? I'm leaning towards Orange Slice, but I'll let you guys pick. And this next pet on my list has missed these videos for quite a few times now, but it's finally taking its rightful place, and it's the Mystic Gulper, particularly the color variation behind me. So, I am here in Ardenweald, which was added in Shadowlands. I'm sorry if you never want to go back to this expansion, but it's got some pretty cool pets. And then you're going to go ahead and come to Ardenweald, and then you're going to go just south of the Dream Song Fin. My coordinates are currently 37, 39, but it's kind of all over the Fin area area here, the, the swirly circle uh, on the map. So there's a couple of different um, uh, color options. For example, uh, like this guy here, pretty standard like hunter green with some um, some bossy furish stuff on the back there. But the one I'm after is this absolutely goober looking dude right here. I love this. It's so cool. Perfect for fall as we're going to be um, creeping up on that here soon in the United States. But it's got the uh, the white uh, belly there, kind of the lighter mask, if you will. And then, of course, my favorite color uh, is orange, and this thing is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and tame it for my very own. Uh, and it is kind of looks like he's made of wood there. And he actually gets bigger uh, whenever you tame him. So again, this is one of those uh, pets, much like a lot of them, to be honest with you, that look pretty crazy when you have a tiny uh, hunter, uh, at least uh, race for your hunter. But again, absolutely beautiful. I love this thing. I, I As soon as I saw these, they're so derpy. I love them. Uh, but I'll go ahead and check out the next pet on my list, but I hope you guys will come and pick up one of these. And if you do, please let me know which color you got and what you will want to name it. By the way, if you're watching this, thanks for subscribing.
And the next pet on my list may not be super fancy, but it is super fun, particularly if you have a small character model like Greeley, my goblin hunter is. And it is going to be found here in the Onaran Plains. There's a ton of different areas that this duck can spawn, but it's the Jade Throat Mallard. Uh, so this was a new uh, duck model that was added in Dragonflight, and it's just going to be around the waterways. I tend to just look right here at there's uh it's a per approximately 70 uh 38 uh there's been one there's a, and there's a ton of them here you know every time i i come through here but i'm finally adding this one to a video uh, i mean look at this the duck is just as big as I, actually it's bigger than i am let's go ahead and tame it here for our very own there's a bunch of different colors as well uh but i opted for the one that had a uh, a green neck there with the kind of the orange uh, orangish bill and then the uh, the brown body so it's, I know it's dark now but let's go ahead and look at that it's, it's it's still taller than me I think it is oh hey buddy camera shy there we go I really love this model this one's kind of got some weirdness going on actually with his uh, bill now that I think about it either that or that's just a very jagged edge there actually maybe that's maybe that's the way it's supposed to be either way it looks kind of weird this is just one of those fun pets uh nothing too crazy nothing too special about it but if you are an rp or for example maybe having one of these in your arsenal that would be pretty cool i mean i know i would be pretty butthurt if i got taken out by a uh, a beast mastery hunter in pvp and i was killed by a plethora uh, of ducks with somebody with a really cool mog to go along with it so let's go ahead and check out the next pet on my list and the next pet on my list this is absolute goober behind me which is the fetid devourer and this is one of the bosses which is probably going to be boss three if you're coming in here just for that in old deer uh, so to get here first of all uh, this was added in bfa so we're going to be on zandalar then we're going to go to nazmir and then the uh the middle of nazmir there's going to be the heart of darkness this is where the under dungeon is and the old deer raid is so you're going to go over here to the uh, old deer raid entrance you're going to clear the first two bosses which is going to be talic and then mother and then you have the option for the next three bosses and one of those uh which it's going to be i guess well it actually let me see it try that again there we go uh it'll be on the right side uh which is going to be the fetid devourer and even though this thing looks kind of uh, undead it's actually just a beast so anybody can tame it regardless of if you have a tome learned or not so let's go ahead and tame him for our very own and this is officially tameable as of the war within so pretty cool stuff there look at that absolutely crazy looking thing You've got like a, a hawk strider head. I've never actually looked at this. You've got the lion head, and then uh, you've got. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a, a lizard of some description? Either way, it's got like the pox and stuff on the back. You still see uh, the remnants of everything there. And I don't know if they've cleaned this model up, but it definitely looks pretty nice. Uh, you can see all those particle effects. Uh, but uh, we've got some stuff attacking us here, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to myself in the future for this very last pet on my list and we're going to go ahead and find one of those og just fun tames over in hillsbred and the final pet on my list is uh kind of hard to miss so the last pet on the list is going to be creep this uh, which is an og pet this pet has been around here in the hillsbred foothills since i think vanilla honestly uh just a bit bigger now uh post cataclysm uh, so i uh, we found here in hillsbrad foothills and that is in the eastern kingdoms and then it's kind of um it's it's right next to south shore i mean south shore well <laughs> What's left of it is right there, uh, but it's kind of to the uh, the west of Sh South Shore. Uh, the coordinates I have on the map are going to be 4376. He's absolutely ginormous, so I'm sorry if you have arachnophobia, uh, <laughs> but it, the uh, model has been updated a little bit um, since they did update these models and they retired a bunch of the the OG uh, models. Uh, but here we can see, I had to, f I actually missed out on this tame to another hunter so that's really cool that this is just a honestly a filler pet but it's got some cool backstory it's a it's it's a unique named mob there are people still after 
or these type of uh, tanes, which I really appreciate. And I just love this. It's a nice little wolf spider. And by little, I mean, oh my God, it's way bigger than me. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And consider subscribing to me here on YouTube if you haven't already. And be sure and follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mr. Eggplant. There's a ton of amazing more pets that I'm going to have out at some point in the War Within. I've got new War Within pets. And then we're just going to continue to go back and find some more of these OG pets from vanilla all the way up uh, to Dragonflight that we haven't seen in any of my other videos. And be sure and check out the entire playlist down below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.